Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a simple and fresh spring look. It is finally like 80-ish degrees in Nebraska now. And last week we had like a snowstorm. So like <laughs> I've been dying to do like a really fresh and peachy and pink spring look. So that is what I did today. I rediscovered a foundation, which you will see in a second that I freaking love and I will never be without again. I forgot how much I love it and I'm so happy that I found it again. But yeah, if you guys are interested in a really simple and fresh spring look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so for complexion today, I really want to focus this spring-ish look on my face makeup. Um, I kind of want it to look really fresh and like skin and healthy. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be using the CYO Life Proof Foundation. I love this foundation. It is one of my go-to foundations, especially if I need to like mix any products. This is definitely my go to i use the shade 101 um this foundation is definitely growing like in popularity i got mine off of walgreens.com and it was like six or seven dollars at that time i'm not really sure how much it is now that it's getting more popular but i am just going to start layering this on with a light layer i like this foundation because of the finish mostly it's kind of got like a really healthy looking finish without being too luminous and it's not um, too matte either and it's like the perfect um, shade match for me which is like so uncommon to find like a foundation that matches you perfectly without mixing anything without doing anything to it so I love this foundation. I'm gonna be blending it in today with a unique kabuki brush. I've been really into using brushes for my foundation lately. I don't know, it's just a lot faster and you get a lot better coverage. So I'm just pressing that in. This foundation is like super buildable. Um, yesterday I wore it just like a really light layer of it to even out my skin tone, but today I'll show you how like full coverage you can build it up to be. So, love this foundation so much. Um, this is just one layer, so you can kind of see it's like a good medium coverage. You can still see my freckles and stuff. You can still see like that I have skin, but um, just for today, I want to build it up a little bit more just gonna add a little bit more to my cheeks and stuff where I want more coverage. And I'm gonna blend this in this time with this sponge so it doesn't look cakey. So even like built up this foundation like looks so it just looks so healthy and you can still see my freckles and stuff but it's still like very full coverage. It is just beautiful you guys. If you haven't tried the CYO Life Proof foundation, you totally should. It's it's sold out a lot <laughs> on walgreens.com. But if you can get your hands on it, you totally should. It's so good. For concealer today, I am going in with something that I've recently rediscovered. I kept telling myself I didn't like this, but I do. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I use the color light peach, and I kind of told myself like this is too light for you. Um, you need to get a different shade, which I do agree it is a little light for me, but the coverage is just so good. I've been blending it in with a brush which I think is why I like it more. When you when I was blending it in with a sponge, it was kind of taking away some of the coverage. So I yeah, I started blending it in with a the same foundation brush 
and it just looks so good I can't get over it and I actually don't mind this color so much now that I have like the coverage that I want I hope that makes sense see it just looks so oh so beautiful I love it I don't think I'm going to get a different shade I think I can just make this one work I'm gonna be setting my under eyes today with the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder, loose finishing powder. I freaking love this stuff. I just took a little bit in the cap and I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and tap off the excess and just look up and dot that under my eyes. This powder is so beautiful. It is just like, it's really finely milled, so it just makes your under eyes look so smooth. It's so beautiful. It kind of like smooths over your pores too. Like I have huge pores around my nose and it kind of just goes right over the top of them and blurs them. It makes me look beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Ah, so beautiful. To set the rest of my face today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. I'm just going to do this lightly. I always powder my whole face. I just feel a lot more comfortable with that. Um, but I just take like a teeny tiny amount on my brush, like barely anything, and just tap over the rest of my face. I know it's kind of like counterintuitive to have like a luminous ish looking foundation and then powdering the whole thing but I just do like a teeny tiny bit of powder and go over my entire face because it still gives like that healthy look without like totally modifying it hold on coffee For bronzer today, it's going to surprise you, I know. I'm going to be using my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzers again. I just, every time I try something new, I always go back to this one. Because it just is so good. Like, it's hard to find bronzers for pale skin, you guys. So when you find something, can you guys see how bad my eyebrows are? <laughs> I'm gonna like kind of stay back a little bit so you can't see how atrocious my eyebrows are right now. It's really hard to find bronzers that are not too orange or too red or too cool tone that they look muddy or gray looking. Um, so when you find one, you kind of got to stick with it. <laughs> so I use, um, I use the color bronzer first. This is like a good beginner shade if you are just starting out with bronzer or you have super pale skin like I do. Um, so I start out with this shade and kind of build up the color on my skin and I could definitely stop here like this I'm comfortable with this but I like a little bit more depth in my temples so I take the color sun kissed bronzer in the same um, in the same bronzer and and deepen up the, the temples a little bit. I'm not afraid of bronzer. I love bronzer so much. I think it's one of my favorite steps in like my makeup application. I think it makes such a difference in like the appearance of pale skin. So I like pack that on. <laughs> I kind of want to do like a peachy um, cheek today. I think that's really pretty for spring. So I'm going to use a coral blush. This is the Unique Pressed Blusher in the color Supple. It's just like a really pretty, it kind of looks scary in the pan, but it's a really um, pretty peachy, peachy shade. And I just, these are really pigmented, so I basically just tap into them and, um, press them on my skin. I'm using the Flower Beauty Bronzer Blush Brush and I'm just tapping that on my cheeks. I 
feel like I got a little bit much <laughs> on this cheek. So I'm just gonna take that brush that I did the um, powder with and I'm just going to tap over that to kind of blend that out a little bit. This is a really good like method if you feel like you got too much blush on your skin <clears throat> and you need to tone it down a bit, just take the brush that you did your powder with and just tap over the, the color to blend it in. It just leaves a really healthy, like flushed look, like you just came in from the outside even though I don't go outside. For highlight today, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the color Molten Rose Gold. This is such a pretty, like, pink toned highlighter, but it doesn't leave, like, a pink streak on your face. I love it. It's very subtle, um, which is what I want today. I want, I don't want to look, like, blinding today. I just want to look really, like, healthy. I want my skin to look hydrated and healthy, but I don't want it to look like overdone. So I'm gonna use that today. See, it's like super subtle and super pretty. This is like a really good everyday highlighter. You can build it up, but it just takes a little bit more time to build it up. But I find that this, this shade, like even though it's rose gold, it looks good with any like blush that I'm using, so I really love this. And it just like, is so subtle, it's so pretty. So I put that on my cheekbones, on the tip of my nose, on the bridge of my nose. I like it a little bit on the tip of my chin. And then I do like a little bit up on my temples, just like very little, I'm kind of blend it up. Because it doesn't leave like a pink cast on your skin, you can kind of put it wherever. It'll look so healthy, it looks so healthy. And then I'm gonna go over that with my blush brush. I'm just gonna tap over that so it doesn't look so stark. Ah, love it, it's so pretty. I am going to put my brows on real quick. I'm gonna use the ColourPop Brow Boss in the color Brunette, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my brows on. I'm sorry I didn't wanna show that on camera. My eyebrows are like so like ratchet right now. <laughs> I don't wanna show that on camera, but I did just do um, my brow routine. It's kind of like a beginner friendly, friendly brow routine, so if you wanna see that, um, I'll leave it linked down below and wherever in the cards, so, um, so you can see that. But for my eyes today, I want to do something just like light and simple, and I'm going to be using my Jaclyn Hill palette again. I know I I literally use this palette in every single tutorial, but I've just been having a lot of fun like playing with it, um, and it's just, it's so versatile, so I don't, I don't know, I just like it, you guys, okay? <laughs> I'm going to take, let's see, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I don't know, I like the back, it has all the shades on it, but it's like backwards, so I don't know which shades I'm using, so I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna use the one that's like the fourth one in, and I'm gonna just place this in my crease. For the lid shade, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's kind of like a rose gold um, with a gold shift and I just love this color. I'm gonna take it on my finger and I'm just going to press it onto the eyelid. It's such a gorgeous color, oh my god. I like to apply these shimmers with my finger. I feel like they are a lot more vibrant that way. So beautiful. Oh my gosh. God. Please just let the, please just let your dog in. Your 
Your dog is howling in my video. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of deepening up on the outer V, um, but not too much. Let's, I haven't used this shade, so I think I'm gonna go in with this one and just place that on the outer portion of the eye to kind of give it some depth, but not like too much. I don't like. I want to keep this really light and fresh, but I want to make sure that there's some dimension and. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Just blend that up into the crease a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I, I think that adds a little bit more dimension, a little more depth, but it's still really like light and light and fresh. I'm just going to take that same shade that I used in my crease and just run this along the um, lower lash line. I think I want a little bit more on the bottom so I'm just going to take a little bit darker of a color and run that right over. The lash line again. And then I'm going to take just a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend that out a little bit. For mascara today, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Volumizing Mascara. This is one of their BFF mascaras. Um, I've been trying this out. It's not really my favorite, but it'll do the job today. I'm just going to put this on my lashes quick. It's like a, a volumizing mascara, so it does a really good job of like adding some thickness to your lashes. But I more prefer a mascara that like lengthens and separates, so... I probably wouldn't purchase this one again, but it does an okay job. For lips today, I'm going, I've been trying out these BH Cosmetic Liquid Linens, um, and I really like the formula of these. I typically cannot wear matte lips. Like, Liquid Lipsticks and Sarah do not get along. <laughs> My lips are incredibly dry, they're incredibly flaky and cracked and gross, <laughs> so I like can very rarely find a formula that doesn't accentuate that um, but these are so comfortable and they're so like they're not like the liquid lipstick formulas that completely dry out your lips and suck all the life out of you I have been loving these so if I'm gonna first line my lips with the BH cosmetic waterproof liner this is in the color strip this is like the perfect nude lipstick or nude lip liner for like pale skin I love it so much See, it's such a perfect nude. I freaking love this. And then I'm going to be going in with the liquid linen. This is in the color Karen. This is like a really pretty like light pink. I haven't used this color yet, so hopefully it's not like too, too pale, like that it washes me out, but... Yeah, that looks so good. I love this color so much. Okay, so this is like pretty much the final look. I think what I need though is a little bit more bronzer. I told you guys I would do this. I'm gonna take a little bit more of that darker, the sun-kissed bronzer, and just deepen up my temples a little bit. I always do this. Um, I always, always, always want more bronzer. <laughs> 
love bronzer. So I'm just deepening up the temples a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little bit more of that blush. Where did I put it? I'm going to take a little bit more of that blush and just lightly add a little bit more to the outside a little bit just to add a little bit more of a flush. Oh my gosh, I am like living for this look right now. I look so healthy. <laughs> okay, my last step is the Catrice Cosmetics Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I freaking love this stuff, you guys. I've talked about it a million times. If your foundation ever needs just some like extra help, this stuff is so good. It's like $7 at, or at Ulta. I have like 20 backups of it. I will never be without this, ever. It smells like hair products too. I'm just going to spray that all over my face and fan myself a little bit. And then the last thing that I like to do, I learned this step from Allie. Um, she is one of my favorite freaking YouTubers. I love her. I'll leave her channel down below. But what she does when her setting spray is like pretty much dry, she'll take like a, um, I don't remember, I think she uses the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, but I use the NYX HD Finishing Powder, and I just take my fluffy brush that I use my powder with, and I de uh, gently tap into that, and I just use this to kind of set down that setting spray, and really lock everything in place. I've been doing this a lot lately and it just makes such a difference. So I barely put anything on my brush and I'm just tapping and putting everything in place. Yeah, yeah. Okay guys, so this is the final look for today. I am really happy with how this turned out. I'm so excited that spring is finally here and I can do like really light and simple makeup. I am, I'm just in love with this and I'm so happy that I rediscovered my CYO Life Proof foundation. I've loved this for so long, but I think I got caught up in just trying a bunch of different foundations and I forgot how much I freaking love this foundation. So. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my videos. I upload every Thursday and Sunday at 8 p.m. Central Time. And I thank you so much for being here today, and I'll see you next time.